Pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise of War video. Today guys, we're going to be seeing the absolute mayhem what's going to be happening at the ring. First off, we're going to do a quick update. Um, finding out a bit of information on what's been happening in the server. I was actually away a couple of days myself, had to go to a wedding. So let's go have a look at the map, shall we? So not a whole lot has changed on the map. Um, you will see that I think previously from last video, Gundabad did get their capital back. Um, and most of the west side of the map and everything has remained the same. Um, now with battles, the only thing really that's been happening, there was um, some scuffles between the Vargs and Gondor. Uh, I just spoke to the leaders in that in Discord and they said it was a, over a disagreement to do with Moomakil. But... Um, there's been a lot, of, they took, um, our South Athelian Keep, um, but if it's really just over Mimikil, they've seemed to have gone pretty far, they're right up to this crossing now, um, to come into Athelian up towards our capital, so, uh, if they start moving further than that, there's definitely going to be issues there, um, but besides that, not a whole lot been happening on the map, everything's Still pretty much the same. Arnor are trying to get some of their land back and stuff. Um, and as you can see, I think Loft took this back not not too long ago, if I remember right. I think uh, maybe the Dwarves or something held that before. I can't quite remember. But the main part of this video today, guys, is the ring. The battle is going down in about 30 minutes. Armies are amassing. I can't see all of them at the moment. Like, for some reason, I can't see the Dwarves' armies, but... Uh, I can tell you now there are thousands of um, armies here. Trust me. Like you can see a couple of stacks here, like 200 and 100. Sometimes it just doesn't show them. But um, from the reports what I've been seeing and people saying, there are thousands and thousands at the moment. So it's going to be all going down. I'm going to try to record it. Hopefully the game doesn't blow up. Um, so definitely the big competitors are probably going to be, obviously, Vargs, Rohan, uh, the two big ones. I don't think Gondor is doing too much. I, like I said, I've been off for a few days. I don't know much. But I do know that Gondor is sitting out here big time. They're sitting out here. So, I don't know. Maybe they're, just, we're gonna, they're going to... I'm Gondor. Um, and Rohan um, might just start piling in after the big battle. Who knows? But um, it's anyone's game. You can get it. Um... We'll see who jumps the queue, to say the least. But it could be laggy. The game could crash and everything. But yeah, we've got the big battle happening soon. Um, Rohan have a lot of armies there. But Evil with Vargs have really good siege. Um, especially with those sappers and stuff like that. And with their goth mogs and stuff like that. We'll have to see whoever jumps the queue first and what happens. Um, there's not a lot of Gondor here. Um, I don't know what Gondor's plans are. I can only speculate. Like I said, there's a lot of armies here, so I've got some armies on stand, all my armies on standby here. So if there's a call later to go in and start attacking and destroying, uh, that's what's going to be happening. But I don't think we're going to be, we're not going to be a part of the actual fight for the ring. Um, now, Rohan is our united faction, um, so to say. So basically, um, if they get the ring um, and then Vargs just keep attacking. I reckon that we will definitely come storming in to help them without absolute doubt. Uh, we've got Lindon there, who's um, in good terms with all of us as well, as well as the um, Dwarves. So, if the good side takes it, and evil keeps on attacking, um, then I think all of the good sides will turn on evil and just start destroying everywhere. But yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Um, if evil gets it, and then and good keeps on attacking... Um, it just could end up being a mass crazy breakout here, so it's going to be crazy. But yeah, uh, we won't keep the intro too much longer, just because uh, we want to rely on all the action in this today's video, and it could go for quite a while, depending on what happens. So yeah, we'll get into it shortly, um, just under 25 minutes to get into this huge battle, so we'll see what happens. Right here, guys, as you can see, we're only mere minutes away from the launching of the battle for the ring. Holy moly. Um, prepare for the game to probably crash like it always does. Uh, I'm going to, as soon as I start seeing attacks, I'm going to go control like this. Control. 
Okay, I must be already zoomed in. Why is it click, then control zoom? There we go. So, I'm fully zoomed in. I might just stay fully zoomed in like this, guys. Just so I've autom automatically done it. Yeah, so if I hold control and zoom in, I'm going to stay zoomed in like that. And hopefully it's not going to bug it. So I'm going to stay like this, guys. But the fireworks is currently starting to go off. Now, take my word on it when I say there's thousands of armies here. Like, there's um a lot of, like, armies that aren't showing stacked here. Like, for example, this one here apparently has 400 armies stacked on it. But we can't see them. And that's not because we're not uh, zoned in. Now, we started recording because... um. They're going to be taking 1800 UTC, and, you know, like, I'm waiting for someone to jump the queue or something. So as soon as I start seeing armies go, we'll probably zoom in like so. Okay, we can see a Rohan army starting to go across. We've got 200 armies here, but trust me, there's at least a couple of thousand armies here. It's just, they're not showing, I don't know why. But yeah, take my word on it, there's a lot of armies here. Holy moly, isn't there? Hmm, Rohan seems to be attacking uh, Vargs, one of their areas there. That's interesting. Okay. All right, we've got about 30 seconds, guys. Um, I think stuff's going to be getting crazy. Um, I think the attacks are going to be starting to happen any moment. I see a lot of movement happening here. Um, now, I don't know why, but I see a lot of Rohan armies going where? I don't know. They're going somewhere. I'm not quite sure where they're going. Okay, I see a lot of armies happening here. Um, I think I think Vargs are attacking their forts, guys. I think Vargs are attacking the forts. It's hard to tell. It is kind of laggy at the moment. If we zoom in, it's going to um, block out a lot of that. Okay, we can score to see what's going on here. So Vargs are attacking some of Rohan's uh, forts. We're just going to zoom back out for a moment just to see what's going on before evident crashes. But it looks like Vargs is attacking Rohan's armies, and no one's really attacking the ring yet. That's very interesting. I think it's better if we just zoom in, we can have a look. So yeah, there is Vargs armies fighting here at the moment. And it now looks like Rohan uh, are trying to push out and take some um, forts as well. I don't, uh, I don't see anyone going for the ring as of yet, so it looks like it's... Battles of the Fort so far. Um, if we zoom over, I can see there it looks like Lindon. I've got some armies incoming. I can't see anything to do with the Dwarves for some reason. But it looks like there's a lot of battles. See, yo, there was over 240 armies here before, guys. If we zoom out, we may literally blow the game up. I don't know. So we'll, we'll quickly zoom out. So we can see there's a lot going. It looks like Rohan are getting attacked crazily and no one's even going for the ring so it looks like Vargs are just going to try to take out Rohan then get the ring let's zoom back in before we crash but uh it looks so far 21 armies 20 armies here wait oh my god Rohan's being taken out a lot there's 20 ar evil armies here by the looks of it that's all Merc attacking and stuff Vargs uh, Rohan still have 170 something armies here, and there is a couple of armies on DG as of right now. Only one army has been taken down. So it looks like Vargs, what they're doing is they're trying to kill all the armies, and then they're just going to go take it. That looks like what's going to be happening, guys. Um, we ain't going to go looking at the chats and that because it could crash everything, but um, so far, it's yeah. It looks like Vargs is just wiping and clearing everything out now. It looks like Rohan is starting to attack. Uh, like, I don't know if I should just start attacking things. Like, is there any attacks coming in on us? Possibly. Okay, so the entire Rohan have been completely wiped out by the looks of it, guys. Rohan's all like three, four hundred armies have been completely wiped. So, the Rohan is completely being wiped right now. Um, so, I'm guessing Vargs are probably going to go attack the ring now. Uh, like I said, I can't see a whole lot what's going on with the Dwarves and that. A lot of them aren't showing. Um, as we can see, we can see a lot of Dwarf armies starting to move out of here. 
Um, so they've definitely been attacked there. Uh, Lindon still have some armies there. But it looks like Rohan have been completely wiped. And the ring is now uh, currently being attacked, I believe. Very interesting. A lot of people are lagging, they said. I'm going not too bad so far. Let's just zoom back in. So there's only four armies here so far. So... No one's going for the ring as of yet. Very interesting. Like, Vargs have only done a couple of attacks. Um, so, but Rohan are basically being wiped off the face of the earth. They had like 300 armies there that I've seen. Uh, and they all got completely destroyed. Um, now, I don't know if I should go over and help and start attacking or what. I don't know what the go is with Gondor. I need to find out. Let's go have a look at the chat real quick, see what's going on. Uh, Vargs take the ring. Rohan is dead, pretty much. Is defeated. Uh, I'm not sure what's going in here. Keep a side eye on DG. They're slowly hitting. My fames, the dwarves are here. I'm lagging. So, so far, I don't see any really attacking from the dwarves or Lindon. They're just kind of chilling there. And yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move my armies up to here. Why the hell not? Just for something to do. Uh, I'm gonna move some armies up. Uh, no link land. Oh rip! They're gonna get bounced now. They just, they just got lost. So there's literally like nowhere I can really go except for here, and it's about to get taken. So those attacks are literally going to be bounced. So I might as well just withdraw them. Gilgalad. Looks like there's a little bit of fighting happening here and stuff as well. Hmm, so I might I might go here. I might go here, guys. Um, let's send Okay, it looks like someone's going to be attacking there. Rohan. I, I, I sort of want to move up, you know what I mean? I'm gonna start going to attack people and stuff. We're gonna quick march this. 12 second hit. And then we're going to send the rest of the armies up there. I don't have the strongest commanders at the moment. My commander's kind of slacking. But my Gandalf the White and Gilgalad are very strong. So we're going to move up there. Um, I'm expecting these guys will be going to the ring soon. Alright, Gandalf the White just took uh, a land. It looks like whatever was there was nothing. It was uh, it was an all siege goth mog. So we got rid of that out the way. Uh, we need to just start trying to smash our way through. So let's hit here, I guess. Um, we only we lost a little bit of health there. We'll go hit that. Something to do. See what's going on with the chat and things. People are declare why are gnomes beating us? So dwarves could be fighting, but I can't see. Like, I see a lot of armies going down here. Can I zoom back out and see what's going on? Alright, so I see a lot of fighting here. I see a lot of Vargs moving around. Um, I can't see the Dwarves. The Dwarves could be going nuts, and but they're not showing on my map uh, for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at DG at the moment, shall we? Hardly anything's really been hit. No Siege, nothing right now. Very interesting. Gandalf the White got into a battle with a witch ki level 45 Witch King and absolutely wiped the floor with it. Uh, we've got our other armies moving up here. Now we could get bounced here. So, oh, we've got Theoden there, so that's good. It's so hard to work out. Oh, God, I accidentally left the area. The good thing is it hasn't, like, crashed yet. But there's lines every bloody where. Um, so there is two armies there, so I'm going to have to attack with Thaden. Move him up. But yeah, I don't know what's happening with the ring so far. Like, not a lot of people are attacking it. Rohan was wiped out. Um, I don't know what's going on with the other guys. Like, um, Linden and the Dwarves, because I can't really see them on the map. Alright, so it looks like i got a draw in there with Thaden. Um, so it looks like we're just doing siege here. One more hit and we should take it. We get Gilgalad up there as quickly as possible. 
I don't know where Gil is at the moment, so let's just move every army up. I'm just sort of ma making a little pathway up there, I guess. Uh, there's so many lines, guys. Holy hell, it's like a map right about now. I don't really have a siege here. So I think we took that area there, yep. So uh, next, let's move up to here. Start sieging this. So I don't have a whole lot of siege on me, you know what I mean? So we'll just um, hit it with everything we've basically got, I guess. Gandalf the White was in a draw, so we'll just recall him. He's going to be 8 seconds, and then we'll move up. Alright, any update on DG so far? So, only 13 armies being taken out so far. So, I don't even know if the ring's going to be taken in this hour at the moment. Very interesting what's happening. Alright, we're doing siege on that fortress at the moment. Okay, we're doing 100k and stuff, so... We're slowly knocking it down, so we should get that down in a moment. Uh, we should uh, strengthen Gandalf the White back up. It shouldn't take too long, should it? To get armies back up here. 6 minutes 20, we'll do that. And we'll continue sieging. So yeah, I'm just sort of making a path up to the side right about now kind of thing. Alright, looks like there is going to be some defending right about now. Around these areas. Um, so that's fine with me. Thaden's strong. Uh, my... Oh, wait. Now we'll attack with Thaden. My Gilgalad will be able to attack soon. Not sure what's happening in chat at the moment. I, like, a lot of it's in different languages and things. I just see a lot of battles and stuff happening. I don't know exactly what's going on at the moment. Uh, light. Not sure. Let's have a look at the reports. Are we getting any battles here? We went against the Kamal, we beat that. Okay, so, yeah. Looks like we just got a Kamal out of the way and we took that. Alright, let's hit up here now, guys. We're going to take out this area. Alright, so Thaden. I'm slowly making a path to the ring by myself. Uh, Gandalf the White. Um, and, a, and Gilgalad. Alright, looks good to me so far. So we're parving our ways up. And then I'm probably going to attack some of these armies or something. Wow, I just realized this video has gone so long already, guys. Um, Alright, we're sieging there. Alright, we're going to pause the video here. I'm just basically going to be battling around here for a bit. I don't want to keep the video going for insane long. And I'll give you a bit more update when we get closer to more things happening, okay? Alright, so we got into some PvP. We went up against a 44 Kieron and wiped the floor with that. We then went up against Alerts, uh, which we did really good there. Um, Thaden went up against there, by the looks of it, and Gandalf. Uh, a lot of my armies are kind of weakened at the moment. I would definitely like to try re -heal them back up, so I think the best way uh, is to recall. Just back, like, basically recall them back, and then um, top their troops back up. Looks like someone just died just then as well. Oh, no, it was just I got I lost a tile there. Um, and we got Thaden. So we're going to recall them back to, like, the one place and then try to get them uh, all healed back up, pretty much. Because I'm kind of weakened at the moment. But I'm, I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing at the moment. Like, the ring has not been hardly attacked at all, guys. Like, it's got 46 minutes, so I don't know what exactly is happening there at the moment. Alright, um, I guess I'm just going to try reinforce these guys. I'll probably be attacked before that even can happen. That's a 7 minute reinforce there. Gandalf is going to be longer, for sure. Um, here's going to be a 9 minute reinforce, where Gilgalad's probably going to be even longer. And Gilgalad is a 10 minute reinforce. Alright. Just, uh, yeah, a lot of... I, I don't know. The ring has not been succumbed yet. Not a lot of people are attacking the ring, so we'll see what happens soon. Okay, so really big update here, guys. It looks like Gondor and Rohan are starting to push in, guys. 
And now it's all starting to break loose. It's starting to get really crazy in here now, guys. So as you can see, Rohan and Gondor are currently now pushing up into the ring sector. And there's armies left, right, and absolute center. So um, it looks like before the ring's even going to be taken, it's going to be a battle of who can clear out who, guys. So... As you can see, there's still a lot of Dwarven areas there. So, yeah, it's going to be craziness. I'm currently recovering all of my troops at the moment. But, yeah, it's definitely an all-out war battle now. It's really... It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy, guys. Rohan and Gondor are currently pushing in as we are speaking. Right here, guys. So, another report. Um, Gondor and Rohan are currently working... On clearing around the entire outskirts. So as you can see, we haven't pushed in crazily inside at the moment. But as you can see, we are currently clearing a lot of the outside. Um, we had like a huge base area here. So we're basically gaining dominance. So even if they get the ring, they're going to be surrounded at the moment. So as you can see, there's a huge buildup of Rohan and Gondor over here as well. Like, I mean nuts. Huge nuts build up and like it is insane over here guys. There is some crazy battling going on over here as well If we come over this way, it's not just all happening in the ring. We're lagging a bit like we're lagging I've got to zoom in a little bit guys. Holy hell But there's battling happening all here with Lothlorien. There's huge battles with Loth Like my get like my PC feels like it's gonna blow up uh, We have dwarves Lindon here. It's going crazy uh, if we try to zoom back out again without blowing up. Uh, you can see that we're trying to clear up this way here as well. As you can see, all the dwarves. Remember, this red here is dwarves. And the dwarves are technically on our side. Uh, with Rohan and Gondor on that. And they're currently clearing up their way. So there's definitely, definitely dwarves around. Um, I can see a lot of dwarf units moving now on the map. They weren't showing in the force before. But it looks like the dwarves... Are doing a lot of damage here now, guys. They are working around quite a lot on the inside. As you can see, these tiles are now controlled by the dwarves. So the dwarves are doing very good. So... Might look like Vargs are still deeply and heavily in control in here at the moment. But, I'm telling you now, they're in a bit of trouble. They're slowly getting surrounded. It's This is awesome. This is not what I expected. This is an all-out crazy battle. Um, This is really cool. Um, I got a lot of my armies ready to go again in a second. I got Gandalf the White coming up to this 200 in a minute to fight. Um, there's some armies stacked on there, so hopefully uh, Rohan don't completely kill it and bounce me, which would kind of suck. Uh, but we've got some other armies, so let's try and move some other armies up here. We've got um, Thaden and my uh, Gandalf the Grey. Ain't the strongest. We do have Gilgalad coming up pretty soon as well. Uh, there's only one army left here. We could possibly uh, take this of Gandalf the White with this 200 here, which would be nice. So let, let, let's see if we can take this out. My Gandalf the White is my strongest commander. We got into a draw. Let's have a look. We went up against a 49 Kieran. He does a lot of healing, guys. Let's have a quick look at the reports. Uh, yeah, we only took 100,000 damage, so not too bad there whatsoever. So we'll stick around there. Our Gilgalad is going to be heading back up here as well, so... Um, it looks like there's a lot of fighting. I'm just going to send them all to the one tile so I can work from there. My Gilgalad actually needs some speed ups here, guys. So we might have to buy one there. But yeah, so far things are going crazy. Holy moly. This is going to be a long video, guys. A lot of editing. But uh, yeah, it's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm currently up at like 4.30 a.m. so far now. Uh, still recording this. It's such an awesome video so far. Rest in peace, Mumakil. Uh, we, we, yeah, we got into a quick little battle there with Mumakil. I wanted to show that. Um, pretty cool. Quick update. Um, just still absolute insanity madness battling inside of the ring. Uh, the dwarves are helping clear out the Vargs a lot. The dwarves are doing a lot. As you can see, there's a lot of dwarven armies. Uh, Vargs are in a lot of trouble. Out here, um, it looks like everyone, like... Uh, Rohan, Gondil, um, and Erebor have all been fighting up across along here. 
Um, I have to say, though, that Varg still have a very big strong herald up to the side here. As you can see, they still have a huge stronghold. Um, and there is currently battling down in this area where Gondor and Rohan are currently pushing up towards that area. So, yeah. Um, Gondor and Rohan are definitely focusing more on the outside on this side of DG. We've uh, also pushing in here, but it's not super important here at the moment. We're doing a lot of clearing outside. A new update as well. It now looks like Erebor, um, as well as attacking the Vargs. Wow, they've done a lot of damage. They're taking, a lot of Vargs have been cleared out a lot. They're now pushing out and attacking Rohan and Gondor as well. So it's a complete free-for-all. Everyone's attacking absolutely everywhere. I've only got a couple of troops. I'm currently trying to move them up as we speak right now. So I'm moving those guys up here. And I'm going to try and push back up and clear this area here. Because, yeah, the dwarves are pushing up into our area now. Which is very interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just absolute chaos still. Um, there was a lot of cleaning done around here. Like, it's absolutely cleared a lot. Uh, a lot of battling here, like with, um, it looks like we've got Lindon here, we've got the bloody dwarves, um, I can see elves, so there's a lot of battling and fighting going on here. It's basically just a complete and absolute free-for-all, and it looks like the ring is not going to be taken for quite some time, so uh, it looks like I'm going to be up all night, all morning, by the looks of it. It's looking absolutely crazy at the moment. Um, Vargs still have their stronghold here. There's not a whole lot going on here at the moment. I know that Rohan lost so many troops at the start as well, but... Uh, yeah, they're starting to push an attack out here now, so I'm going to have to try to do something about this area here and see what we can do, see if I can help a little bit. Right here, guys, so I'm currently clearing, trying to regain this area at the moment. <laughs> I just got in a battle with a Gandalf the Grey and stuff, but as you can see, I'm running out of stamina left, right, and center for all of my um, troops. I've got, I'm basically out everywhere. I'm just sending up any army where I can, when I can. Um, I might as well just put Gilgalad and that into defensive mode at the moment because I can't move him anymore. So they're going into guard mode. I have the other guys marching up at the moment. So, hopefully, these guys get on top of this area back here and clear this up so we can uh, regain control here. Because, yeah, the wolves have completely gone crazy out here. Uh, there's this absolute chaos everywhere. Just battle reports left, right, and center. Well, this is what we get for saving Lindon against Arnor and that. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. Apparently... I'm hearing talks of the Vargs, Lindon, and Dwarves um, teaming up together. But I think it's this all-out war. But yeah, we did help save Lindon a lot. Um, Rohan, everyone. So yeah, very interesting. But yeah, absolute chaos still happening at the moment, guys. Absolutely chaos. So guys, the battle's been going for quite some time. Things have been changing. Lindon and Erebor are now currently attacking Rohan and Gondor. Um, apparently it's all, f all free for all. Um, but yeah, they seem to be heavily attacking us when their Vargs have, um, have been left alone completely. It says there's no alliance at the moment, but it kind of looks funny how Erebor and that were, they were attacking, um, Vargs at first, but then... They all just seem to attack. They were currently attacking us down here, but we cleared that area back up. Um, and then now Lindon um, is joining with dwarves and are completely uh, attacking us whatsoever at the moment. So um, there is talks of free for all, but yeah, it doesn't. It looks very sus like there's teaming without an absolute doubt. Um, even if it is free for all, the fact that Lindon. Is attacking uh, Rohan and Gondor first before any others is kind of sickening to be honest because if it wasn't for Gondor and Rohan I don't care what any of you says um, let's start some fights in the chat there's been a lot of toxicity I don't give a shit um, if it wasn't for us um, and coming over and helping them they wouldn't even have a capital Loth and Arnold would have just completely wiped them off the map so if there is some sort of alliance going on there, that's what I think about that. 
But yeah, um, they say it's all free for all, but um, it's very sus that um, bugs are just being completely left alone now. And basically, everyone's just attacking um, Rohan and Gondor, which seems to be, ha yeah, pretty much at the moment. Um, as you can see over here, the Vargs, we've been holding off the Vargs to the sides here, but the Vargs have been pushing down here. Like, they were right down to our areas before. Um, and yeah, we've been holding this area again. Um, but as you can see, like, there's a lot of Dwarves here and stuff. You can see, um... They're like, t the Vargs are saying kill them out there and stuff. So yeah, there's definitely some sort of alliance going on. Like literally, um, the Dwarves are not attacking them whatsoever and Lindon are helping them. So make what you want with it. But yeah, definitely some alliances going on to say the least. So guys, I have an update. We've been going for like multiple hours now, like three hours or something. As you can see, Vargs have pushed deep into our territory, as well as Lindon and Erebor. Um, yeah, we're just getting ganged attack now. It's just absolutely insane. So yeah, um, Lindon and Erebor have been attacking us all through here. Uh, not looking too good. We have, um, we've been holding that area a little bit, but now we have Vargs. Um, so basically, Vargs, Lindon and Erebor are all working, to, working together. Um, don't care what anyone says, um, they, yeah, um, there'll be a lot of controversy in the chat, there's always a lot of toxicity in that, um, think what you want, but there's a hundred percent, um, we just got in a battle there, looks like it, we got, um, we killed a Grima, and then we drew with this Khaldun there, I'm just trying to protect my base and stuff there at the moment, um, but as you can see, um, Erebor, they've, not killing and attacking um, Vargs whatsoever. Um, you can even see that they've made peace lines and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically those three are working against us. Um, big betrayal by Lindon, um, to say the least. Um, we help them get their capital back and in return they decide to attack us, which is insanity. But yeah, um, it is what it is. Um, so it looks like we've still got a lot of armies, a lot of build up in that, but... Um, so far, no one's taken the ring, but it looks like it's a 3v2 battle at the moment. The Vargs, Erebor, and Lindon, um, getting up against Rohan and Gondor at the moment. So that's basically what's been happening at the ring so far. Still a lot to go. Rightio, guys. So we're here multiple hours later now. Um, there was a lot of battling that continued for ages. Eventually, um, I fell asleep. Um, plus I had to go out and things like that the next day to get ready to go away for my vacation. Um, but as you can see, Erebor ended up claiming the ring. As such, um, they worked with Lindon. Um, as you can see, there's a huge build-up of Lindon, Erebor... Um, and even the Vargs, they left the Vargs alive in the ring. Um, as you can see, um, there's still a lot of uh, Vargs. We're not crazy. Um, but yeah, so they kind of left the Vargs alone. But they haven't proceeded to completely dominate the area. It looks like now that the ring has been taken, um, there's a bit of mutual respect. They have made like some borderlines. So basically, if... Everyone else doesn't um, go and attack them. That there's going to be no issues whatsoever. But um, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of Rohan here. Uh, looks like Gondor has been wiped out completely. Now I do know that there has been a lot of fighting um, here with the Vargs being trying to take Emunen. They did take it before, but we did get it back. Um, so they've been clearing a lot. But like I said, it was during my sleep period, so. We're currently um, clearing out lands back, so I'm going to be going and helping doing that in a moment. So I'm going to be going up and attacking here. Happy birthday, Scorps, right there. We'll go fight him in a minute. But yeah, that's basically what happened with the ring, guys. Um, we got to see all the action at the start. It was absolutely crazy. Now, wherever other things are going to happen there lately, um, I'm happy that a good side won it completely. Um, what would I like to see happen now in the map? Um, 
as long as things can get along, not a whole lot, but if Vargs continue to keep pushing up this way, for example, into our land like such, then I have I I I think we may have a problem with them. But um if they're only if it's only for Mimikill, then it's fine, but yeah. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, there's not going to be too much happening. And just let's just hurry up and end the season and get into the next season. And look at some Season 6 information and that. That's what I'd like to see. Because, yeah. I have to admit, the season's been alright, but it's been kind of boring. I don't know. I haven't been playing as much as I usually have been, to be honest. I guess I've just been really busy in life. But, yeah, there's a lot of things been happening. But, yeah. That's what happened with the ring, guys. It was pretty insane. Um, I'll keep you up to date with what's going on, but yeah, I will be going away for a holiday and stuff, so I may pre-make a video or something while I'm gone. Maybe just a little math I'm opening or something, we'll see what happens, but yeah. Um, uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys, so until next time, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch you guys later. See yous.